Coyotes are once again a growing problem in many Rhode Island communities. Now the state is stepping in with financial help to come up with solutions. Iowa News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with the new details. Steve? Well, Mike, the head of the Narragansett Bay Coyote Study confirms they are receiving a grant from the DEM and the Rhode Island Natural History Survey. This follows reports of aggressive coyotes showing up again in large numbers on Aquidneck Island. Rosemary O'Brien showed us photos this morning of a coyote she says showed up in the driveway of her home on Gibbs Avenue in Newport yesterday morning. She also showed us these photos at a meeting on the coyote problem last night at Newport City Hall. She tells us they were told last night that the number of coyote packs on Aquidneck Island have jumped in the last 10 years from seven in 2007 to now 10 to 11 packs. I think that we need to consider some longer term solutions to the coyote problem. Certainly feeding them intentionally or inadvertently has got to stop. That's a huge part of the problem. Now, the head of the Narragansett Bay Coyote Study tells us the grant will allow them to test experimental coyote management strategies. It'll also allow them to expand their study statewide. That includes Providence. And we're told they will be launching a public outreach campaign since residents, of course, play a big part in controlling coyotes. And the best way to do that is to avoid leaving garbage out and feeding pets outside. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.